All right. I got another Wednesday update from me. Uh, nothing really new to report, sadly. Maybe a little bit. So, the banking job I applied to last week, uh, they contacted me. I was able to get a hold of them. Nothing new on that front yet because I guess they had some sort of uh, computer issues or something. So it's kind of delayed the process a bit. I was hoping to know either, you know, by today, obviously, I, I was going to call them anyway. But yeah, it's pushed it to, I guess, later this week by the end of uh, probably Friday because they're not open on the weekend. So I would assume they will contact me, hopefully, probably not today, but maybe tomorrow, probably not tomorrow either, but hopefully by Friday, I'll know something. Just, I hate waiting on this shit because I know it's like I have to do probably two more interviews. So if I make it this past this one, I'm going to have to do the second one and then the third one. I'm hoping the second and the third are kind of close together. Hopefully they do them both at the same time. like we want, or maybe they'll just have both of them in the same time. I think that would be better. Why not just have, because I think the second interview is supposed to be with the operations and then the third is with the, the like regional manager. Why don't you just have both of them together? Maybe because they're busy and they can't have them both up at the same time. I suppose that could be a reason. But I figured, you know, they would make time for that and whatever. So, yeah, nothing new there, sadly, to report. Um, I've been trying to find something, too, and it's just... Even with like most basic jobs, I don't seem to be getting any sort of response or any kind of pulse. I even contacted a few. I know that medical office physician, I contacted the person again. Since they said they were going to make some kind of decision by mid-June. Well, it's pretty much mid-June now. I even sent him an email last week about it saying like, hey, I'm so interested. Can you give me an update? And I haven't heard the damn thing. So I'm going to assume if I don't hear anything from them within like a week or two, it's pretty much not going to happen. They probably already decide who they're going to interview and whatnot. Yeah, unfortunately, the timing just sucks up here. <laughs> I'm going to be that honest. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to say I made a mistake and I regret my decision of leaving the school. But sometimes it does enter in my head thinking Man, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, maybe I should have stuck around. But again, where they wanted to put me back in the cafeteria, again, it would have been a pain in the ass to just get to the school. Like, I guess maybe if I went back to Baldwin, or, well, I would say it was called Baldwin Lane. If you know where I live, you know where I live. Who cares at this fucking point? <laughs> but I went back to that school I don't think it would have been bad because my, my supervisor that I liked, I'll just call her by her first name, Debbie. She, she's, a, she's back, although I'm not sure if she'll be back for too long because she had medical issues and, you know, she had a surgery and then it got delayed. I don't know if she's still going to have it or not because then I might come back and then she might be gone again and then I would be back in the same hole as I was. It's just... And I've done this before with Little Caesars. I actually went back to that job, I think, like three goddamn times. And I kind of don't want to do that again. The first time I left is because I didn't like my manager at the time. And so I went to HR Block for a bit. And that was actually a really nice shop. It was just temporary, though, because it was only tax season. So it was just January to April. And I went to work at Walgreens because my buddy became a supervisor there. And he's saying, yeah, they might be looking for people. And I, I worked there for a little while. And I was in the photo lab. And I was kind of a disaster because, like, I have worked at a photo lab at Walmart. But the, the problem they had at uh, the Walgreens is that they still developed 35 millimeter film. Like, the actual, like, little film rolls. And that was a pain in the ass to work with. I hated that. Like, they did that at the Walmart. But they were smart. And, of course, they probably have more resources in the Walgreens where 
you just broke apart the camera and you would put the rolls and then you would put them in like a bag and they would ship them off to another lab that would do it. Uh, the 35 millimeter, they would uh, specialize in that, which was great. That was a lot easier because digital film is a lot easier to work with. My God. Uh, but yeah, so Walgreens was like, eh. And then I heard, you know, the, the manager that was there, she left and a manager that I did like actually took over. And it's like, yeah, I'll come back and I'll work. And it worked out for a while. Then I started to get sick of it. Then I decided to go to like a hot dog place for lunch. And they say, Hey, we're hiring. If you want to work for us, if you're working out, they want to look at a little Caesars. I'm like, okay, cool. That was a fucking disaster because the lady, it was like a couple that was operating this hot dog place they had no idea what the fuck they were doing she was terrible <laughs> like she was nice but she was terrible she had no business running it because like she had to bring her kids and all that stuff and it's like okay if you're that busy with having to take care of your kids and everything don't run a restaurant just don't and, like i was the only one there i thought she had other workers but maybe they they actually up and quit i don't know and i remember like the second day i showed up uh, it was like a delivery and she wasn't there. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, this is just horrible. And I think like halfway through the day after like, she's telling me, no, you're not doing this right. You know, it's like, well, you haven't really trained me. And you, she even promised like, oh, you don't have to worry about a lot of prep. And I think that was a lie. That was a big, big lie. And like, yeah, halfway through like the second day, I think it was second or third. I don't know. It was very short lived. I just said, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Funny enough, that place is no longer around. <laughs> Cause within a year, I think it closed because it was just so damn expensive to get a hot dog. Like, oh, this chili's right. It was like twelve dollars for a hot dog. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It wasn't that good. So I went back to Little Caesars again. Then I then I left to work at a ski resort, and that was that was bullshit too because I was basically the kitchen porter dishwasher bitch and I had to basically wash a bunch of dishes in one kitchen and another kitchen uh, and like a lot of the a lot of the cooks or chefs as they like to call them so I was like well I don't want to wash dishes I'm a chef I don't have to you know when you start off in the food industry like that you had to wash dishes at some point you know your shit don't like they, they pretend their shit don't stink. Like your 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 shit stinks as bad as everyone else. Okay, don't fucking uh, don't fucking pretend that it doesn't. And like I, I decided to go back to Little Caesars again. I was able to convince them to give me at least a dollar raise. That's not a lot, but at least it was something. And I, I wanted out of that ski resort job pretty badly. But I figured, okay, well you know what? I'll compromise. I'll give them a week. Usually you want to give people two weeks. Some people don't deserve that, believe me. But I gave them a week because I figured, well, they probably wanted me to get back to Little Caesars as soon as possible. But I figured, okay, I'll give them a week. I'll put up with this crap for another week, and then I'll be gone. That's fine. And they just said, like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. No, no, no. They were giving me shit, and they were, they were basically telling me, oh, if you do that, that's employment abandonment, which that's not what that means. Employment abandonment is not giving you... Uh, it's not giving you the proper uh, notice of weeks off or giving them two weeks. No, employment abandonment is if you quit a job and then you go and file for unemployment almost immediately and they will say, uh, no, they didn't get fired or laid off. They quit. They abandoned the employment. That's what that means. They were, they were feeding me a bunch of bullshit and they were all saying, or if you do this, you'll be blacklisted from this place. You won't be able to work here. Good. Don't do me any more fucking favors because I didn't want to be here anyway. It's like, hey, cool. Cool beans, man. You made it even easier for me. It's like, you know, this job's not that great. So fuck off. I don't care. Ah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I've done boom, boomerang employment before. I really don't want to have to do it. I don't know. It's like, I'm not trying to be too down about shit. I'm really not. But as the weeks go by, it's been, it's been around a month since I left my 
previous job. And now I feel like feel like my options are, are getting worse. <laughs> They're just narrowing down. I know my sister telling me talked to my sister recently saying, like, well, maybe you should learn how to drive so you can get more job opportunities. And like I would like to. It's just I have a thing about driving. I don't know, maybe because I'm afraid to drive. I haven't driven that much and my last experience didn't end so well. Like I kind of somewhat not big crash but kind of crash into like the wood fence of our of of of, the, of where i live and my my dad was like there because i didn't have my license yet so you have to have a someone in the car who is a licensed driver if you have a permit my dad I'm, I'm, i don't want to blame him fully but my dad's very intense like oh, don't do that don't do that da, 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 da. you know and it's just yeah and i even took driving lessons and they paid for it and all that shit it just ah. I don't have to buckle down and do it, but God, getting a car right now, especially in California, is so fucking expensive. I, I understand the advantages it gives, but like, I don't know if I can afford to do that right now. It just, I, I feel like I'm fucked either way. Like, I'm in a rock, between a rock and a hard place right now. In many ways, you know. So, I don't know. It's still not looking that great for me. I'll be dead honest. It's just not. I can't pretend everything. Hey, everything's cool, man. No, it's. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know what to do. I've been doing what I can, what I can. Uh, I guess I'm going to be getting a call from the unemployment office later today. Just to see, like they said, oh, there's something miss. Probably because I left my job. Just. I guess I kind of did do an appointment abandonment with this job, but maybe the circumstances might be a little different because if I explain why, maybe they'll do it. I mean, I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it, but you know, the worst thing they can do is say no. And if they say no, then that's that. Then I just got to keep looking. I go, I don't know. Yeah. Life just kind of sucks right now. That's all I can really say. Um, yeah, so that's it. Anyway, um, sorry I don't have any more you know, breaking news, better news to share, but that's that's how it is. Anyway, that's it. All right. Well, probably right. I'll probably post one next week, see what happens. Should have some news by then. All right. Bye.